here like, no, 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 me nah, not invite share, nobody. Me not share my man, me with, share my man with nobody next thing. She go come in and. I'm Ryan. I'm Jelaine. And welcome to Trinity's, Trinity's Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Welcome to another video. Today we have a very interesting and spicy topic for you guys. But yes. before we get into that, let me just say congratulations to our winner for last week's giveaway. This week, we're going to be giving away a $1,000 flow credit to the lucky person who watches this video from start to finish collect those numbers which will be showing up in different increments of the video just like the last time and once you've gotten all those numbers all you have to do is to quickly put it in your phone of course and then type in the comment section i got it last week what happened was that someone abroad got the numbers and then they contacted us what to do with it i apologize for our international audience there will be some local giveaways as well as we'll have some international giveaways that will benefit everyone now today we are going to be discussing how to keep your love life slash sex life spicy mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> We really want to thank everyone for the love and support that they have been showing us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everyone, a few people have a few negative stuff to say, but people hate what they don't understand, and we're okay with that. We aren't trying to impose our life on anyone. What we are about is uh, being different. And this doesn't only involve a relationship, but being different in life. The way they say it's supposed to be, it doesn't have to be that way. And before we go any further, guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel just yet, you need to do so now. Like, comment, share, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload our next video. So before we get into the topic of today, we have a question for you. Do you think a polygamous relationship will help to enhance your bedroom activities to make it more fun and exciting? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Let's get into the meat of the matter, guys. How to keep your sex life spicy, exciting, and fun Ooh. from a polygamous point of view. So our first piece of advice to you in keeping your sex life fun and exciting is to be spontaneous. I don't think many people understand how important spontaneity is. See, a spontaneous person is someone who acts impulsively you know sit down you know think about nothing you know plan nothing you just go off of your vibe you go off of your energy you know and you just do your thing so you can be on the road with your partner in the car wherever that sounds like you have some kind of memory just now i am <laughs> <laughs> but you just let go and be yourself and let those creative juices flow because that's what's going to make your relationship spicy. You can have sex anywhere, right? As long as you're not breaking the law, that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, whether you want to do it in the car, the movies, or just about anywhere, doctor's office. Right out here in the open. <laughs> well. Spontaneity starts from the minor stuff and moves into the more daring impulses. She's saying as long as you don't break the law, well, as long as you don't get caught. That's <laughs> what I think. <laughs> um, it's all about keeping them thinking. Your woman should never, ever know what you're up to. Guys, do you stop at the stoplight and bend over to give her a kiss? Do you, do you put your hand across while you're driving to rub her leg? Have you ever been on an highway and pull over at a bus stop only to find yourself over in the next seat that's what i'm talking about being spontaneous i saw long stop like them there 
how long they stop like the different stop? It not really matter. You, you, you have to pull over at the bus stop. I want bus stop when I really get used. No. <laughs> <laughs> Make it fun. Yeah. Be spontaneous. And our second piece of advice for you in keeping your sex life spicy is dress sexy. Ladies, them can tell you. If you know that the panty wash out, throw it away. <laughs> if you know you're not seeing your period, don't wear that period panty. <laughs> Less close to bed is better. Some people like it naked. Like me, I like it in a nice little sexy underwear. Not too tight in case I need to shift it. You understand what I'm saying? But dress sexy, guys. Buy a piece of lingerie. And guys, the same thing go for you. Your underpants can be pinned up with <laughs> command pin. You can pin up your underpants with command pin and go into bed. Are or you have it? holes in it. Although I style now for holes in her clothes and then stuff that doesn't look nice but when you're you, going to bed. If you want the woman to look sexy for you, you have to look sexy for her. And I agree. I nice. agree. It goes both ways. And it's not just in the bed, you must dress sexy either. Around the house. Right. Put on a little shorts while you cook. Put on a little shorts or or, or, or some skirts. or short skirt. Nothing underneath it. Or short dress. If you ever know what that do to a man. <laughs> short skirt nothing underneath it you're doing something and then she sits indecently and slightly <laughs> the anticipation that builds up guys I can tell you it's nothing like there's nothing like it now, the ladies will say that the doctor says the most or the best underwear to wear is actually cotton panties the best underwear to wear is no none underwear I agree. <laughs> I, don't you guys agree the best underwear to wear is no underwear so our third piece of advice is foreplay mm -hmm. how many foreplay have to follow number three that's a good one <laughs> one of the first things that you need to do or need to know to make foreplay effective is to actually know the sensitive parts of your partner's body right the earlobe the nipples <laughs> that is not a sensitive part it's sensitive it make me laugh the back <laughs> <laughs> that is not the outcome that we're looking for yeah, okay <laughs> throughout the day guys it's the glances where you brush brush against each other, the indecent touches when the kids aren't looking, the kissing of the neck, stopping to kiss your partner, um, no matter who is around or where you're at. Foreplay should never be limit to, limited to when you're just about to have sex or in the bedroom. Foreplay, foreplay lasts all day. It builds anticipation and um, you look forward to getting to the to the night or pulling them away in a room in the bathroom or when everyone goes to bed especially if you have kids guys um you have to be creative not because you have kids you get boring now ladies i got you for this one a lot of men once the clothes come off or maybe we don't have to even reach that far they just want to jump into things um for play what it does is it gives you that kind of adrenaline rush it gets your bodily juices rushing and pumping and it helps to stimulate you somewhat um, not somewhat holy for what yeah it stimulates you you get moist and stuff some men when they go there bam 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 that's it no foreplay and it can be painful. Them not spice, them not spice up things done at all. Them they just spice. want to get into it. It gets boring. It gets played out after a while when you just go into things just like that. Sometimes it can be like that, but it's really nice. Ladies like it. And men like it too. Mm -hmm. Just spend a little time to show appreciation to the body. Serenade your partner's body. Allow your hands to go on a little adventure. You know, do some stuff. Foreplay is not for all the moments. Sometimes. No, no, no. no. Sometimes I just tear off the clothes and put in. So, yes guys, foreplay is very important. Stop 
just running in, stop, mash up the woman them, take on a time with them, allow some moisture to come in and allow for easier penetration and of course you'll get a more pleasurable experience. We agree. Our fourth advice is do not limit sex to the bedroom. Nope. None at all. Never do that. Guys, it's now 2021. Come on. And if the bedroom is the only place you can think of having sex all the time, then you might as well just take the remote and go sit and watch some TV. That's boring. There are too many places in the house that you can go and even outside to be bedding up all the time. Wanna love the 1000 thread phone sheets or the pillowcases? <laughs> Wanna always a thing about bed? No man, do something different, go somewhere else, try the coach. And when you're in the house, when she's washing mm -hmm. and she have on that little shorts, mm -hmm. guys, come on. Cooking. Cooking. Oh, you like that one. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that one. <laughs> and then it depends on the space. Some people have a bigger space than others and some people have more luxurious things at home. So like if you have a pool, that's awesome. If you, if you play a small pool, I go behind one curtain. Yeah man, if the place pull is her, small. Pull her going to the bathroom. You understand? If someone is standing over there and she's bending over a chair, use your hand. You understand? You see that thrill of getting caught? Mm, can do so much for your sex life. <laughs> so what we're saying is just try other places guys. Explore. The bed is not the only place to have sex. Our fifth piece of advice in keeping your sex life spicy is to try new and different sex positions it doesn't matter if you're going to if you're going to get a carpet burn or your knees are going to get bruised or anything like that just do it don't 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 wait on um someone else to initiate it with ladies and even gentlemen uh if you're having sex don't just lie there in the one position change try new stuff so here are some fun and exciting sex positions you can try guys instead of the usual missionary and the back shots and the cowgirl, girl try the wheelbarrow the seated wheelbarrow then there is the seashell you have the valedictorian you have the corkscrew um there is so much yes a seashell Yes, I did say the seashell. Yeah, yeah. Like, are you favorite? Like, you don't know something like a seashell, man. Let's get, you know, nothing like a proper spread. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> nothing like that. There's the Gee Whiz and a host more, guys. There is so much. The information is there. You have get the yourself book. educated. And maybe we can do a video later on where we could give more in-depth information on these different sex positions. I agree, I agree. You have to try new things because if you don't what's going to happen is that you guys are going to get bored of each other and then you'll start to grow apart so try new things increase the excitement and the fun that you guys have in your relationship so always try if you don't know it you go on the net as Juliet was saying you research you find different things and guess what happens you guys may find a new position that's your favorite or something that another position that does some stuff to your body that you, you have never experienced before if you go for a job you study if you're in school you study and when it comes on to relationships people just we tend to think that it just happens just like that guys you have to get advice you have to study you have to read i probably can ask some ladies um What's the different parts of their vaginas? And they wouldn't know, but I do. I can ask a man, um, where's a woman's vagina? And I can bet you they don't know. Where is the vagina? Tell us in the comment section. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Our sixth piece of advice is be consistent. Consistency sums up everything that we're telling you about in this video if you're not consistent with all of the tips that we're giving you then you're gonna have a problem and remember guys this is our point of view remember that yes yes the poly poly point view. of view this is what we do we do a lot of these stuff to keep our life 
and our sex life exciting. Right. <laughs> Don't think about consistency only from a sexual point of view. Right. Be consistent in how you treat your partner. Um, the way you flirt, the things that you do for them. This builds up builds up a bit of anticipation where mm -hmm. when it comes on to sex, it makes sex even better because of how you are normally throughout the day and stuff like that. And you will be looking forward to be doing fun stuff with your partner rather than trying to go outside to try and find what you're not getting at home because that's what's happening, you know. Um, you change people change after they get too comfortable with each other they stop doing the things that they used yeah. to do um, in the earlier parts of the relationship and then everything just starts to get boring and blah and then you want to go out that's why you have cheating our seventh piece of advice is talk about sexual experiences before during and after intercourse communication is of utmost importance and couples should always talk about the sexual experiences they're having that alone in itself guys can bring a whole lot of fun before sex when you speak that can help to set the tone maybe it is by reminiscing about some past sexual experience maybe the last time you guys had sex or some time before maybe you remember a specific moment and you just talk about it it's always nice to kick things off. Yes, it is. And during sex, uh, question your partner. Or if something is being done to you, uh, comment to your partner. Yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, right there. Stuff like that. Let them know that they're doing something good. Or yes, you're, you, you, the, the, the effect, whatever they're doing is working. Um, let them know that they should go deeper that's what or, i was gonna say give instructions don't be yeah. afraid to give instructions maybe they're doing something too hard you can say you know slow down slow down or if they need to go a little faster let them know what you're feeling in the moment talk to them about it and that may even help to spruce them up a bit after sex is very important because this is the part that lets you know what works and what doesn't. Right. This is where you communicate and you tell the, your partner what they did at that time that made you feel a specific way mm -hmm. or it made things a little bit more exciting, right? So you need to let them know that. After sex, so you know the next time around, it's going to be epic. And number eight, guys, <laughs> mental orgasms. Mental orgasms start in the mind. I seduce their minds first, then their bodies follow. The definition of a mental orgasm may come down to um, the fact that you think about something sexual and then you physically ejaculate. But really and truly, it stays in your mind. Right, babe? Definitely. If you can stimulate the mind before the body, just know that you're definitely in for a treat and then because what's gonna happen here is you do the things first that gets the adrenaline rushing and it makes you anticipate what is to come so do stuff like kiss your partner on the cheek on the forehead the passing by smack them on the booty or they don't, they don't even have to be passing they're probably standing you can be passing and you do a smack whichever way um, gently touches to the most sensitive parts of the body stuff like that you do these things and trust me this will have your partner just waiting for what is to come wet you have to learn the art of this type of sexual experience these experiences can come through phone conversations Definitely. it's something that will stimulate the mind and let your body run wild Definitely. Um, even to send sexy text messages, which we call sexting. We love um, that. It could be to that. send <laughs> nude pictures. We love that more. Raunchy videos. Maybe you actually did. And I'm not telling you to do a video of you and your partner when you guys are having sex. Why not? Sex, 
but no well i'm not telling them to do that i'm just saying that's one way if you can find a video no, or if you did that. any short vids or anything when you guys were in action you can then send it back to your partner as a reminder of mm -hmm. what happened and the that can actually time. be used to set the tone for right. what is to come i love that part of it i'm remembering you can actually feel what was happening before when you're watching it over like we said this is our point of view our ninth and final advice guys and this is for people with mindsets like ours be open to inviting or adding another person or people in your bedroom humans weren't built to be monogamous it may work for some but it won't work for all your love should not be dependent on sexual exclusivity you'd be surprised that just as you love watching porn you would love the experience of watching your partner put on a show for you yep. now I know a lot of you especially your ladies when you hear this one you cringe right because you're like no 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 me nah, not invite share, nobody me and share me, man me not nobody. share my man with nobody next thing she go come in and things start happening go behind me back and whatever and him enjoy her more than me all these different thoughts of um, insecurity and um, a lack of trust but ladies hear me out you need to trust your partner more you see when you actually open up and you give your partner the chance to be themselves that's the best thing you can do yeah. it is better to allow them to be themselves and to give them something new and exciting and thrilling that you both can enjoy in your presence than him having to go out to search for something there are so many men out there or oh. her or her yeah you have I to put that in, no? <laughs> there are so many men out there who would really love that opportunity um, from you ladies and I think if you give them that chance it may be did you let me let me just reason with you did you know that when you allow a man to do something that's the time he may less be interested in wanting to do it that's so right. true and this may sound weird but actually when you invite someone or if you invite someone into your relationship it may just save your relationship it may just tighten the bond between you and your partner there are a lot of married couples where their marriage um, is actually on the verge of being dissolved they're heading towards a divorce we saw a story online um, when last night yes. where this lady um, realized that she was attracted to females and our marriage of eight years mm -hmm. she broke it off mm -hmm. in realizing now that she was attracted to females and if the relationship was set up in a way where she could actually bring somebody else in yeah she wouldn't have to leave her husband and maybe you know? that could have saved the marriage that could have saved their marriage saved the relationship and added someone else with a good energy to match with theirs and um you know they just come together synergistically as a team and just be productive there's so many things that can come out of it so and another thing another thing guys you guys always look at this as a man having two women remember you have jealous guys out there also mm -hmm. yeah. that if mm -hmm. they have their female partner they would have a problem mm -hmm. with that female partner having a woman having a woman right so it's not just me that i'm here with two ladies right. i'm also sharing her with a woman right. i'm also sharing her with a woman either way so it's not just a man having two women we're sharing each other get rid of that ego get rid of that jealousy get rid of that competitiveness and stop worrying yourself and selfishness yes don't be selfish if my woman is attracted to other females um, hooray for me because that's <laughs> definitely two females right here this is a different level of excitement also adding somebody else is going to show you stuff that you never knew about your body or things that you would have experienced true and remember what we're doing guys we're trying to keep the fun and the excitement 
in right our love life in our sex life so you know this is a pretty good one and again remember guys this is the poly view we're not telling you to run and invite other people in your relationship we're just telling you that you know that's a good idea this is what works people. for us yeah right you can try it with your partner if you don't like it well you don't like it but it may surprise you yeah. now remember guys today we gave away a thousand dollar flow call credit watch the video from start to finish get those numbers hurry put them in the phone we would like to know who won so remember to type in the comment section i got it and please remember guys to subscribe like comment share and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time we upload a video and like we always say we're more than just an idea we represent possibilities thanks for watching Bye! Bye.